Hi students, welcome you for another video. So in this video, I am going to explain you the Huygens theory of double refraction. Okay. So just for recap, what is double refraction? To understand that, you just look at this small figure. So it is showing the double refraction of light. Okay. So when the light is unpolarized, light is incident on any <coughs> calcite crystal. So what happens? At the point of incidence itself, we can see there are two refracted rays. So one of the rays is called ordinary ray, the other one is called extraordinary ray. Why they are named like that? Because the ray uh, which is following the loss of refraction are called just ordinary rays. Okay? The rays which are not following the loss of refraction, they are called extraordinary ray. You see. So anyway, so there are two refracted rays. So that is called double refraction. So and these two refracted rays are actually polarized light. Okay, both are plain polarized light. So because the ordinary ray consisting of the vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence, whereas the extraordinary ray consisting of the vibrations parallel to the plane of incidence. So the question is how to explain this double refraction according to Huygens theory. So basically, you know. Huygens theory is explaining the wave nature of light, right? So it is explaining when the light is emitted by a source, okay, it is propagating in the form of a wave. So depending upon the light rays, suppose if you consider the parallel rays, what kind of wave print you will get? According to Huygens, it gets, it will get the uh, plane wave print, correct? Plane wave print. Suppose if the divergent rays are there, then you will get spherical wave print. And similarly, for the line source the light emitted by line source you will get the cylindrical wavefront okay similarly you can get one more type of wavefront called ellipsoid okay in the form of ellipsoid in the three dimensions now let us see these uh, rays extraordinary and ordinary polarized light or what kind of wavefronts emitting according to Huygens okay so the first point the point of incidence on the doubly refracting crystal like calcite acts as origin of two waves, origin of two waves called ordinary wave and extraordinary wave. Okay, you have to consider now in the form of waves, extraordinary wave and ordinary wave, you have to say. So, the point X as source for two types of waves according to Eigen. Now, in this case, ordinary wave is ex uh, expected to be emitting spherical wave frame because it is uh, showing the point source. So, point source always emitting the light waves in all possible directions. So and propagating with the same velocity and hence the expected type of wavefront is always spherical wavefront for ordinary waves. So whereas extraordinary wave is showing ellipsoid wavefront. Okay. In three dimensions it looks like an ellipse. So in three dimensions it is ellipsoid. Next <coughs> ordinary wave always propagating with the same velocity. Okay, because it is just following the uh, loss of refraction. So because of symmetry and uh, in the crystal and as well as the, the type of wave it is a spherical so because of that all symmetry it is expected that it is propagating with the same velocity in all directions clear whereas extraordinary wave so it is propagating with different velocity in different directions here so because of asymmetry you can say it is propagating with the different velocity in different directions clear next one is so along the optic axis so what is optic axis i will tell you later so along the optic axis so spherical and ellipsoid touch each other okay so that means you can see in the diagram just look at the diagram i have an ellipsoid type of wavefront it is for extraordinary waves and then this is a spherical wavefront for ordinary waves right so these two waves are touch each other so if you draw an axis along that uh, touching points so that is called optic axis okay so always the two wave print touch at two points and the line joining between the two points is called optic axis clear yeah? so what about the velocity so velocity of ordinary ray and extraordinary is same only along the optic axis clear yeah? the next point is you can classify the crystals refracting crystals based on this concept how we can classify we can classify them as positive crystals and negative crystals, right? Some examples I have given in the last video. So, in the case of negative crystal, 
ellipsoid is bigger it is emitted by what, what kind of waves extraordinary waves right so that the size of the ellipsoid is bigger in case of negative crystals whereas in case of positive crystals the spherical wave front is bigger okay so example for uh, negative crystal as calcite you can take so example for positive crystal as a quartz okay so look at this diagram once again here i mentioned for negative crystal okay ellipsoid is bigger okay wave front of ellipsoid is bigger for ordinary ray, it is a spherical wave front okay so they touch each other at this point so this kind of wave fronts are obtained according to eigen for negative crystals similarly to look at the positive crystals the wave fronts are of course they are again meeting at these two points but which is bigger here now the circular type that means in the di three dimensions it is a uh, sphere spherical okay spherical wave front is bigger compared to ellipsoid okay so this is the diagram for two dimensions in three dimensions you have to say spherical wave front and ellipsoid right so for ellipsoid extraordinary ray. so for a spherical wave front it is ordinary ray. okay so you can distinguish the type of crystals which are uh, giving the double refraction and using that concept you can classify the doubly refracting crystals as positive and negative crystals clear so next part of the discussion is how to consider the propagation of light in the given crystal in the form of double refraction with respect to different angle of incidence with respect to different optic axis okay etc so the construction according to Huygens theory we will discuss in the next video okay thank you